wind. <laughs> oh, Zer, uh, come on. Begin. You shouldn't come try to catch me with that dumbass explosive again. Like before. Not necessarily Serpent. I mean, for me, the way that I see it, I don't really care for the title of who's the best and who isn't. I'm more so, I just want to get credit given for being the Wonder Woman that contributed probably like the most, you know, for like the, the rest of the Wonder Woman community to like learn from. I live in New York. Woman wins. I wish I lived with Zook. Uh, he actually can't because his parry is too slow. Honestly, I don't even think that Young is... See, it's not me trying to be shady or to throw like any shade or to try to like start anything. I think that he's good with doing instant air shields, but that's kind of about it. Begin. Like he, he lacks the fundamental aspect of her, he lacks the neutral aspect of her, lacks the conditioning. This is a tactic that Honestly, any good player would use, but it doesn't really prove much. Um, he takes advantage that people don't know the matchup, which is fine, but it's like it doesn't really prove anything if you're playing against people that don't know what to do against you. See, like the, the ranges that I'm playing at right now, I'm not going to get punished no matter what. Whereas with Young, he'll literally just jump in and just YOLO in and just do whatever he feels like doing, you know, at any given point. After 
Aphrodite forbids you. forbids you. Yeah, like 223 has a gap, back 23 has a gap, 113 has a gap, <laughs> down 1 2 has a gap. Even though nobody can realistically do anything against down 1 2, it still has a gap, you know? Like in a lot of Wonder Woman mirrors, like I blow up that gap if I have super. And they're like, oh my god, you, you knew about that gap? And I'm like, of course, like I made the character, like what do you mean? Like how, how could I not know the gaps? See, like that? That's exploiting people trying to exploit a gap. And also look at how I'm like, I use jumps and I use like empty jumps and I use the different trajectories to toss up my shields. The problem with Young's play is that, and the problem with, like it's just a general approach, it's not just him. People assume that if your character can do instant air specials of anything, that's what you have to do. And it's like, that's really not the case. It's very, you know, like it's very situational. See, like right there, I notice that he keeps on teching. I personally don't care because I still get damage. I'm still safe afterwards, and I'm still dishing some damage towards him. Uh, easily. She was better in Justice 1. She just had more tools. She had more everything. <laughs> She's, she basically did exactly what she does in this game, except she was everywhere on the screen. And she had more plus frames. Begin. And she had meterless damage, she actually had hit confirms, she had OTG setups, she had actual 50-50s.
Hey, uh, J. Joe, no, this is PS4. Oh, that was so close. He says they're blocking because of my bash. Like, I can reversal the bash. Um, he, he's, he isn't plus off of like half of the stuff that he does. And my reversal bash is gonna beat out anything that he tries to do. So that's why he's respecting it. Right now, I'm kind of just like baiting him to do something so I can kill him with my super. <laughs> Alright, now I can kill him with the super combo and he hit that again. We'll kill him. Oh yeah, of course, no problem. Um, relentless. And I was saying it in the video too, like, I know people are not gonna understand it right off the bat. Like, you're gonna have to watch it a couple of times to really get it. But it's like, frame data is honestly like the most important part in any fighting game. Just cause it's like, everything literally obeys for frame data, like, everything applies to it. Or it's like, frame data applies to everything. See, like, he's not respecting his frames. He's not respecting that he's negative. That's why he's getting hit out. Hey Red Rum, what's up? He actually messed up with that tech, ironically. Cause when I did that throw, I was gonna throw him into the middle of the screen. So it would have swapped sides, but him teching the throw pushed himself further into the corner. I mean, now now I'm in a corner because of you know the stuff that followed up after, but still. Like right now, I'm not really caring that I'm getting hit because I just want to build bar. Basically, because of that, any meter burn special that I would have done would have killed him. I noticed that he keeps on trying to blow up my my opening, trying to like use that thing. I see that he can just down two, like if I do it like too close. So 
what that lets me do is just change the trajectory of it. And I can still jump in for free, more or less. Hey Void, what's up? I think it's honestly just because she is a hard character to use at a competitive level. Like, she's not the hardest to pick up, like, she's pretty straightforward. You know, like, she doesn't have too many strings, doesn't have too many specials. Um, her B and Bs are more or less the same all throughout. Um, it's more so just knowing how to use her at a high level, that's what's, that's what's hard. Like, it's a pretty high learning curve for her. I'm trying to let myself slip up on purpose. There we go, second clash. You're no warrior. I'm the man with the guns. That's BS. I think honestly part of it is that people still don't know the matchup that that well. The thing that messed me up that whole round was simply that whole corner. Was the fact that he could always escape if he felt like it. That's why I hate this stage. I hate every single stage that has a corner escape. I think it's so broke. Like, nobody should be able to get out of the corner for free. Such a weird down to. See, just like that. That was stupid, why is that so active? Why does this character have no recovery on anything that it does? See, he keeps on trying to anti me, so it's letting me start using my shields more. See? It's not so much the zoning that she struggles against, it's more so 
characters that can zone, and then they have like a really strong neutral game too. Like a really strong up close game. Like they, they just shouldn't have it, period. Like if you're able to zone, you shouldn't be able to play up close also. Because this is kind of like jumping up a little bit um, in terms of like, I guess, levels of meta. The thing is when it comes to zoning, realistically, you know that you're going to take damage going in. You're going to take either damage on hit or damage as chip. Like, it's just expected. It's going to happen. The problem is when you take all that damage to close the gap, and then you're taking even more damage because that character has up close, you know, they have an up close game. So you're basically taking twice as much damage as what you're supposed to be taking. And it's not, like, that's not an issue with Wonder Woman, it's an issue with NRS, that they don't know how to balance these characters. See, he's respecting that I always have bar whenever I do the dash. So that's why I'm doing like my meterless one, so that it lets me build one meter. <laughs> and it's still this chip. See, here's the thing, here's the thing that you're not understanding. The thing is, some characters, it's like, sure, they may lose, if they're a zoner and they're losing the zoning war in most cases, then it's bad because like, oh my god, you know, they're just a zoner so they don't really have any other tools. So it, it does hurt them. The thing with hybrid characters like Starfire, like Supergirl, like Harley, and like Fate, um, like Lantern, honestly, is that if their zoning isn't working out, they still have an up-close game, so it's not like it actually hurts them at all. Them losing a certain area of range, like when it comes to zoning, really doesn't mean anything because they can always just be offensive if they feel like it. So it really, like, it really makes no difference. at his bar. So like right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make him be more YOLO because then there's less for me to worry about if he's all YOLO. Like I don't have to watch his meter as much because I just know that he's gonna burn it. <laughs> so it helps. Iguana, what's up? And Rising Eagle, hello, hello. I'm getting really bored of this matchup, um, Supa. 
I don't know if you want to switch or what. But you see, look, like I'm doing all this like little bit of chip, a little bit of damage, it stacks up. See, he just killed a bar for literally no reason. He did nothing out of that. bar again at some point. Like at this point I'm really just letting- I'm just trying to feel what he's gonna let himself hang himself with, if that makes sense. Cause he's just- he's developing too many tendencies at this point. And just like too button happy. I'm waking up because he has he's respecting it. Like realize how how little I'm waking up with my actual invincible wake up is because he keeps on respecting it and he keeps on trying to space it out to blow it up. So that's how I wake up with the bash. Instead, like the regular bash. Weak. 
Because the thing is, the way that this matchup is running is that he's trying to develop tactics and like try to play around how I'm playing. But the thing is, it's like I'm a, I've already been playing around how he's playing. So it's not going to work for him because I'm already, I'm playing the game, see, like that. I'm playing the game in concert to how he's already playing. So him trying to switch things up is just letting me switch things up. So unless he starts thinking like two or three steps ahead, it's not going to work out in his favor in the long run. Hey, uh, Marty McFly, what's up? He also doesn't have the frames to Oki me. That's why it's not working out for him too. If he doesn't switch once it hits 20, then I'm just gonna like leave and do something else. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but Red Hood is a very boring character, in my opinion. He's like Wonder Woman in a sense that they're very like cut and dry, like small move lists, except he doesn't have the fundies aspect or the execution. See, like right there, I meter burned it just so I can recover fast enough to block. Just because I didn't want to give him any additional frames that he didn't already have. I want to throw that stupid interactable. See, I'm gonna take a whole bunch of damage just trying to close it in, but I don't know. He's gonna run out of bar eventually, see? There we go. I had nothing to worry about.
Hey, Gio Leo, what's up? See, I'm forcing him to respect the middle of his bash. See, this is what I mean. It's like, I'm playing ahead of him. So it's like, this is not going to go like any other way. It's going to keep on being played the same exact way that it has been so far. Goes expecting me to jump in so that he can down two and he gets blown up for it. See? He just burned all that meter just trying to bait my air techs. He's just running himself dry. Just put himself into the corner. Honestly, in my opinion, Wonder Woman is one of those characters that if you want to learn how to fight against her, you almost have to like pick her up, basically. See, he's so conditioned for my bash that I didn't even have bar to me to burn it, even if I wanted to, and he still respected me for it. Good, that's gone. Burn himself dry again. Now he's stuck in a corner. No meter. No resources. <laughs> You're excited for the turtles. See, there he goes, trying to blow me up for the interactable use.
damn it, that actually was a punish and I messed it up. He's trying to down to me. He's gonna eat too much chip just by trying to do that. Yeah, I'm on pad. I'm on the regular PlayStation control. I use both. I use the D-pad for like all of my inputs and then I use the analog for movement for like jumps and all that stuff. I I'm not playing this again. Good game, super. What startups do I find more useful? What do you mean? Let's try some rain. 